Turn it up, 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 we're gonna celebrate. Turn it up, up, up. This terrible feed song is gonna be implanted in all of our brains for the rest of the year because we have to hear it over and over because they cut the feed so much. Good luck to anybody watching feeds having to hear that song all the damn time. Well, I'm here to try and recap night one of the feeds, but I want to start with the episode. It was a fairly boring episode. Whoever thought that first challenge was good TV was wrong. The one where you had to like match the picture. You to see that over and over made the episode very boring. Teams also meh. I feel meh about the team's twist. And then the double or nothing was very anticlimactic. You know, big brother twists, they always flop. I also wanted to touch upon Frenchie. Frenchie's a very interesting player because of the the reactions to everybody on Twitter about Frenchie, on podcasts about Frenchie, we even dogged Frenchie. It didn't help that he really did say that stupid thing about Derek, about how Derek took Cody when it was really Cody that took Derek. I'm not even a big super fan of Big Brother, and I know that. So, I mean, he did kind of lose some street cred with that. But I feel like the hate for Frenchie is going overboard. And Frenchie proved in this first episode he's a contender. He won three challenges that night because he did end up throwing the dice when he should have threw through that last part when Julie made him do it, even though he didn't take the double or nothing deal. But regardless, he seems to be having a great social game on night one as well, because he is the first HOH. He can use this to hit his advantage. And I get that some people think he's pandering to Twitter because he is saying he wants to target the bros, he wants to kill showmances. And that he wants to align with a lot of people of color. And he's definitely doing some pandering. But I feel like if this is the pandering he is doing, and this is what Twitter has wanted for so long now, then it's actually more than just pandering. If if he follows through with all the things that he is saying, then it is definitely more than just pandering from Frenchie. And he's doing what he says he's going to do. First thing I want to talk about on feeds from tonight. A lot of us wondered, a lot of us were asking the question, even people that don't watch Big Brother much were asking the question, would the Derricks connect over their name and make an alliance together? No, it turns out they might be mortal enemies after night one, the way things are looking. First of all, it is uh, Kylan that Derek X, I'm just going to call him Derek. I'm going to call Derek Frazier Big D, since that is what he likes to go by. And if I could remember to call him that, rather than just always Derek F and Derek X, that gets annoying after a while. Shout out to Carrie with a K. So uh, Derek X, I feel like I have to say his name so you know what Derek I'm talking about. <sighs> Derek X. I'll have to call him Derek X for now, I guess. Derek X and Kylan have been having a good connection tonight. But Derek X is also connecting with Travis. And Travis is connecting with Christian. And so, of course, the three white guys, Brent, Christian, and Travis, are all together a lot the first half of the feats tonight. Of course, the dude bro white guys all sat around each other. It was fun, though, watching them fail to fit in right away with everybody else in their group. The white guys can finally feel what the POC on this show and all these reality shows feel all the time when there's just three of them trying to fit in with a bunch of white people. This isn't even that extreme, and the three white guys are kind of struggling to fit in. But Derek X is really trying to fit in with the bros for whatever reason. He is really trying to bro down with Travis, talking about making this big eight-person alliance, possibly on. But 
But Derek F or Big D has already caught on to Derek X's game. He has seen the connection between Derek X and Travis, a little bit of Derek X and Kylan. And he basically read Derek X's game tonight. He had a conversation with Alyssa. Seems like uh, Big D and Alyssa are close already. They had a good conversation talking strategy and who to trust and reading Derek X's game and that he's really trying to bro down with Travis and that they're going to create some big alliance with a bunch of dudes, which is mostly what Derek X and Travis talked about tonight. I got to move on to my favorite person on beats tonight. And that is Queen Tiffany. Tiffany is hilarious. Whether she's on camera with someone else or on camera with herself tonight, she is a hoot. And Days was very accurate, if he's watching this, about Tiffany's social game because she is pretty damn great socially. She has already connected with Frenchie over being a parent. She then connected with Whitney over being a parent. And she wants those three to have this parent alliance. But Tiffany's also gone around to other people tonight and just had little relationship moments with a couple of different people. I think her social game is great. I think her personality is great. It seems like she hasn't said her age because the guys had a conversation tonight, the bros, thinking that Frenchie's the oldest person in the house. So maybe she lied about her age. I'm not sure yet. We have not found that out yet. But Tiffany is great. And white people, you got to stop calling black moms mama fill in the blank. Mama Day hated being called Mama Day. And now they're trying to call Tiffany Mama T. But you don't see them calling Whitney Mama Whitney. So just shut the fuck up. We're not going to call her Mama T. She's Queen Tiffany as of right now. Another moment earlier on the feeds was Alyssa being sick. She had apparently puked in the bathroom at one point. They had a hair. She was afraid of puking on the live feeds. I think that might be something to watch. I don't really know what that situation was all about. Sarah and Aza bonded over Harry Potter. They were, the first half of the feeds, they were together a lot. That was an interesting connection. I don't know if that's actually a connection because they didn't have any game talk. But Aza and Sarah were close tonight. There's like a... Whitney's rubbing, rubbing kind of the dude bros the wrong way. Meanwhile, Derek X is rubbing her the wrong way as well. She's had some quips about Derek X tonight. But they've all talked about Whitney because she was talking about a backdoor plan earlier in the night on week one. It wasn't really a plan. She was just saying if she was HOH, she was thinking about backdooring someone, and that caught the dude bro's ears. So that is something to watch going forward. Is Whitney going to be an enemy of the dude bros? Last thing to touch upon before I just kind of go over everybody's individual games a little bit. Um, like I said earlier, Frenchie is telling people he's not putting up a woman. Twitter should be happy rather than shit-talking him still. And I think a problem with Twitter is maybe Twitter is just jealous. Are you jealous? Are you this jealous that French you got on the show and not you guys? I think that might be part of the problem. Although French you was dumb in his interviews before the season, like I already said. But he's saying how he wants to come into this game and change the perception of him that he's not a dumb Southerner Trump fan that his best friend is a gay black man, which is true because that guy is uh, running his Twitter account. So the haters of Frenchie kind of might die on that hill probably, but they probably maybe shouldn't if he does follow through with his action of not nominating a woman, not nominating a POC, and getting out of dude bro in his first HOH. I'm going to try and touch upon everybody's night one real quick. Start with Whitney, who, like I said earlier, rubbing the guys, the dude bros, the wrong way because of talking about if she was HOH, how she was going to maybe plot a back door. 
but she's also made some quips about Derek X tonight as if he doesn't clean up after himself or something, which does seem true. Derek X has kind of been very bad socially tonight because he is getting close to the dude bros, really trying to get in with the white guys. Meanwhile, Frenchie's plotting against the dude bros. Derek X might just talk himself on the block at some point this week if he keeps that up. He's not reading that situation very well, and he just took so long to talk to Frenchie tonight. He was one of the first people out of the room tonight during the HOH room reveal. It was Derek X and Travis leaving pretty quickly to go have their little conversation about how they want to start an eight-person alliance. So Derek X not reading situations well. Frenchie is in a good spot. I think he's making a lot of social connections that first HOH we debate if it's good or bad. It's been pretty good in the last several seasons for the most part. There's been exceptions, but for the most part, it gets people far in the game. Aza has been fairly low-key. She's made her rounds. She hasn't talked a lot of strategy on feeds that I've seen. She's been very good at just going around socially, though. And she's on Frenchie's team. She's safe this week, so... And I did like on the episode how Aza and Derek F threw the first challenge, but still ended up on the safe team. And I know uh, Aza said that she wants to target the first HOH. Still a possibility that Fenchy becomes a target just because he could come off as a challenge threat at some point. Brittany, I said I was going to hate her. And it's not even that I necessarily hate her. It's just I don't like listening to her talk for more than two minutes. That is still rings true, but I don't hate her. I'm going to give her a chance. It's just really hard to listen to her a lot. Uh, Big D, Derek Frazier. Um, his social game's there, too. Like I said, he's read Derek X's game right off the bat tonight. So if his reads continue to be that good, watch out for Derek F. Brent. Oh, Brent. Brent is lost. Brent has been wandering around tonight. He connected with the other white guys. That's about it. <laughs> Hannah. I like Hannah. She's also been low-key tonight. I think Hannah could find herself in a good spot of playing the middle, but it's going to really depend on what happens with this supposed big alliance that might be created that's at this point probably going to implode, but we'll see what happens. I want to, I'm want to. i very interested in Hannah's game. She's very smart. She's kind of shown some of her smarts tonight that she should hold back on. It's only night one. Christian basic bro pretty fucking annoying Alyssa all I got from her she was sick early in the night but she's made her own social connections Xavier sat with her a long time and talked Christian sat with her a long time and talked uh Big D talked with her a lot so she's connected with the guys a lot I haven't really seen her connecting with the women though Xavier he had to talk himself down. One of the last things I saw on feeds was Xavier trying to talk himself down from being paranoid since it's only night one. It's a good thing that he's having these conversations with himself, but it could be a bad thing if he's already feeling paranoia on night one. I'll have to try and remember to talk to Dazed about that and see how his paranoia gets out of control. Sarah... I don't know how much to say. She wants to play a floater game. She's very under the radar. Her and Hannah right now in spots where they're just very low-key. Very low-key. Claire. Claire, much like Franchi, has revealed that uh, they're big, big super fans. Aza has not done as much of that. But those two have definitely done a lot of revealing of how big of super fans they've been. I'm trying to like Claire, and I do like Claire. She's kind of socially awkward, and I think that needs to be something she needs to work on as this game goes on, because her social game could be a struggle at some point. But right now, 
I feel like it's ironic because she says she wants to work with a bunch of women, but I really feel like some of the guys are connecting with her. The women, I'm not so sure. So we'll see how that plays out. Tiffany, I've already said, love Tiffany. She's hilarious. Her social game. I'm going to give Tiffany the award for best social game of the night, other than probably Frenchie, but Frenchie's HOH, so it comes with the territory. But Tiffany has made rounds with the right people. She's very good at connecting with people. She's very much a Leo. She's very into herself at times, but I think it's uh, hilarious. I love Tiffany. She's my favorite of night one. And then Travis, he wants to make the typical big alliance. He's afraid to make a, will he make a six person alliance? Will he make an eight person alliance? Will he make a nine person alliance? We shall see. This has been night one. It's been a pretty good night of Big Brother. The episode was boring and the twist flops like always, but I do like the cast. We'll see where it goes from here. Until tomorrow.